Good day, my esteemed viewers. I hope you are having a great day. Today, we are going to summarize the projects that uh, the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, is handling in Onicha Axis. Yes, uh, well, if you notice that we are missing anyone, you alert us so that we can get the complete project presented to you. But for now, these are the projects that we are going to show you in this video so that you see what the governor is doing presently in Onicha. Well, if time permits us, we are going to visit Oka to harness Oka's own so that uh, we we'll still showcase Oka to you. But this one is uh, Onicha Axis, Onicha Metropolis. So right now, you are going to be identifying the area with the tag on the screen. From the screen, you will see the tag of the area that we are presently so i don't need to you know talk too much in this video but you will still hear my voice as the video goes on thank you as you do that let's proceed that time a metallurgical institute was established some decades ago at obosi along this uh, is not far from here the same side if you know where metallurgical is so a uh, story said that that metallurgical that was established that Oboko here is a reserve place that is supposed to you know uh, house a kind of um, a kind of uh, a practical industrial something that will you know that will work with that metallurgical I don't know how true it is so, but I don't want to go into details because that story is not confirmed. Also, Oboko, they said, is a part of Obosi. But at a point, because of the location and everything, the government, one military government, governor of Anambra State, then decided to cede Oboko under Obaru local government. I don't know how true the story is, but these two major stories is, you know, a, a major things that I decided to drop here. So we all know how Oboko is. It's a slum, it's a suburb, big time suburb. So, but we decided to show Oboko. Oboko is not far from a uh, relief market there. Relief market in Onicha there. The relief market too is under Obaru. Just like I said earlier in one of my videos. So, but if you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please click on subscription button, notification button, like the video, let's hear your comments. Don't forget to share the video. That is the usual mantra. So please, you are welcome to our channel once again. This is Oboko. We are showing you Oboko live. Live, we are in Oboko, Anambra State. So having said that, I will not talk so much. You use your eyes to watch how this place looks like. Another thing is that so many millionaires in Nigeria today came out from this slum. Yes, you can find out. A lot of millionaires also came out from here, grew up here. So that is it. You know, suffering can teach you some big time you know uh, things so like i said this place is a slum big time slum but just look around and watch we can see some you know um, roads being constructed it's 
still under construction and use your eyes to watch we are going to move around and see how the place looks like So just, you know, watch the video. I don't need to talk too much about this place. Just watch and let's hear your comments. At this point in time, it's a kind of a drizzling. You know, the thing is drizzling gradually. So, but we still manage to do what we are doing. It's not much, it did not disturb us much. So just watch Oboko and let's hear your comments as we move around, as you watch 
let's hear what you think about the book So, but as we are moving around, we can see like uh, so many roads, a lot of roads are under construction here. You know, that is what we noticed. So, let's move around. We keep moving around.
So, but from here now, we are almost at the Owere Road. Now, this side of Owere Road by the right is under Oboko. That's the way it is. Under Obaroloka government, sorry. So, we are now diverting into Potakot Road. So, by the right here is Potakot Road. Yes, this is uh, Potakot Road. This area is known for, you know, the timber shed is here. The um, uh, um, road, or more road people, people that sell the road for construction, they are here. Um, all these people for carpentry work, they are here, attached to timber shed. Then, um, Obogu, pharmaceutical. This is where the pharmaceutical market is along this Potakot Road at the back of it. Then the market stretches to the front of the expressway. So you have a lot of, you know, um, uh, banks here. We have covered this place. If you can remember last year, we passed through this place and we pointed out the importance of this road. But lo and behold, now the road is under construction. We say kudos to Governor Soludo. Our video, our camera crew, we passed here last year and there is nothing like construction here. We passed here and we mentioned it that this place is very important. I remember that I said one bank alone has about three branches on this, on one street, this street alone. Like UBA, UBA has three branches along this road now. So many banks are here. Almost all the banks are being represented on this, you know, uh, road because of a lot of business activities are going on here. So um, this is a wonderful development that the governor thought it twice to, you know, work on this road. To make it uh, motorable so but you know another issue with here is that a lot of uh, trucks do come in here on daily basis and during a working day when this road is busy if done you hardly can drive through this road hardly except if you are ready to spend the whole day then you can enter here to pass through because a lot of trucks mini trucks trailers they are here occupying this road so but i don't know what will happen after this road is being uh, done and dusted whether the trend will still continue well if you ask me it is high time that the government relocate timber markets Oborod. Yes. I don't know, but I think it is high time that the government can relocate them to a better place. This place is becoming too congested for them. So they need a bigger and wider place that they can relax and do their businesses without disturbances. Here on a normal day, after loading your vehicle, the vehicle even find it difficult to escape from this uh, axis. Maybe a vehicle will load after loading, it will take the vehicle more than three hours or four hours to even escape from here. <laughs> so, but 
well it is just an idea that the government should you know look into it and see what they can do to locate some of these markets to a better place you now when development is coming it is normal everywhere at a point government will say okay let's shift this market to another place that is normal so it's not a new thing so but well let's continue you can see that the road is very much under construction the drainages are becoming almost completed and the excavation is going on and the whole lot of them so but this is the first time that we are coming to this site Patakot Road to see what is going on here you know uh, uh, personally i'm being impressed you can see a whole fence of a uh, premier beer was being brought down to construct drainage that's why they use that blue aluminum to make a temporary fence you can see their fence was brought down so that the road will have a good uh, shape and the width of the road will be quite okay and will be in uniform you can see this is the back of premier beer the fence was brought down a little demolition happened here definitely you can see it you see these places were being demolished their fence gone to make this road you know good enough well um uh, let's keep going you know potakot road is uh, a bit long is a bit long so that's why yeah, i had to you know um, uh, increase the speed of the video because this area is not uh, motorable for now so for me to capture this thing for you guys i need to walk to get the place done so from here now you can see we are still moving down towards the uh, Potakot Road. We will move down now uh, and we are going to bust out at uh, uh, down flyover, up wake and down flyover. That area, we are going to approach again from that area and we will come down. So we can get a complete view of uh, the Potakot Road. Also, we are going to touch um, that road that leads to Agofri, that small road. We are just going to touch there briefly and we'll come out and uh, we continue on the coverage of the uh, Potakot Road. Thank you. Yes, uh, we are still moving down Potakot Road. The drainage systems are under construction. If you know this place very well, you will know that this is Mr. Biggs. The then Mr. Biggs in Potakot Road, yes, by the right there. I don't know if it's still functional. So, but let's keep moving towards uh, St. Jude Axis. St. Jude. So, mm. we keep going. Thank you. 
So we are almost uh, nearing St. Jude. Okay. Okay, now we have gone down to um, Opiweka side and we've turned from that place and we are coming down again from that uh, down flyover side. So you can see a lot of uh, work, drainage construction is going on here. Here is the area you have uh, GUO motors and a whole lot of uh, luxury luxury bus operators. All these uh, luxurious buses, this is where they operate. That's behind um, uh, along Potako Road close to Opiweka and close to Uguausa Park. Yes, Uguausa Park is the one by the left. If you enter that park, you will bust out at uh, Lagos Park. So we are having a view of this area. This is GUO at Patago Road. So we are moving down to view all these areas and see what is going on. Well, uh, we are still moving down towards uh, Potakot Road. That's uh, having a reverse view of Potakot Road. But from there, someone there, somewhere there, we are going to divert left to uh, Godfrey. Let's see how that side is. Because uh, little construction is going on there also. So we are going to take left to uh, go for it, axis, then we turn back and continue with our protocol road movement.
So here now we have uh, bust out at uh, Express Road. This is the uh, head bridge area, Enugu on each Express Road. So but we are not going to enter the Express Road. We are turning back to have our complete view of uh, Portacourt Road. So we have turned back. We are going back to Portacourt Road. So in no distance time, this road is going to be well motorable. Well, I, I don't know the layers of this road. Probably the next thing they will do now is to apply asphalt on it and the, the machines will leave this place. However, we see how long it's going to last. But half bread is better than none. Let's keep going. Yes, uh, we are having a reverse view of Potakot Road inside Fege on nature. Yes, that is where we are. Construction work is going on, road construction work along the road, the entire road is going on. So it's going to be a wonderful thing when it is completed. When it's completed, it's going to join the market road, you know, making it a, a very, very nice combination and connection. So let's keep going.
Uh, so here now you can see that premier again very well you can see the offense you know is down to make way for the road probably defense is quite too close it's going to affect the road so they had to pull it down well um, um we are going to keep you updated concerning that uh, most of this road construction let's see how it's going to be but i hope and believe that uh, the road is going to have a walkway you know so that uh, pedestrians can move on their own while the vehicles struggle to move on their own path that is the beauty of a city possibly covered drainage is going to make it nice and wonderful we are not talking about having some green areas along the streets it's very important these are the things that uh, invite people that can attract investors and that can make a city attractive you know there is nothing uh, there is no magic there you know but having uh, you know uh, enough commercial activities in you know, Onicha and Anambra as a whole there is still need to you know invite more people by making our places very attractive and uh, you know motorable well this is uh, Tadiro Junction you may not uh, recognize it again but we've just crossed that place we are still moving down towards uh, uh, Niger Street
So um, uh, we are nearing the end of uh, Potakot Road. This is the actual end of Potakot Road, and we have joined the Niger Street, the street that leads down to Mem Market. Yes. Well, if you have not subscribed to Yanga Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video, share this video. Don't forget to share it, please. And let's hear your comments about what you observe on this video. So, thank you as you do that. We are about to round up this video. I still remain Chinedu. Why you enjoy the rest of the video? Thank you. Yes, viewers, uh, we are right there on uh, Zigs Avenue. The Zigs Avenue is uh, under construction. We will visit the entire Zigs Avenue and we will go to uh, Miss Elm Street also so that we can have a critical look of uh, what is going on on the road construction. So we are approaching Zigs Avenue from the end of uh, that's off niger street yes that's where we are coming from off niger street so we are moving towards along uh, zix avenue you can see that there is a drainage system here and there is a, a walkway after that drainage system so the construction of the uh, drainage is still fresh the walkway construction is still ongoing as we are moving down we will have a critical look of it you can see people are using it already you know you don't have to walk on the major road even though the major road is still under construction so that is the essence of having walkway in every intercity road sorry in every road within the city there is need for a walkway so that the pedestrians can walk safely this time around people are the bicycle lane but bicycle lane is not that uh, very very important but there should be in a standard road in a city road there should be a bicycle lane so but however um, uh, it is an improvement anyway uh, so let's um, Keep moving and uh, see what uh, Zix Avenue looks like. You know, like I said, after Zix Avenue, we'll enter Miss Lems and see how Miss Lem Street, what is going on there. The same construction work is going on there. So when we get there, we'll have a reverse view. So this is Top Rank Hotel. If you know Top Rank, this is Top Rank Hotel along the Zix Avenue. So let's keep going.
so this uh, six seven you can see is a very wide road the road is wide enough you see so um if you ask me you know a uh, government is supposed to have dualized this road i'll give you a reason you see this road had it been government dualized six avenue dualized niger street the one that leads to main market and this one this six avenue if you take it straight you are going to ochanja market and you are going to bust out at um, um, um ochanja roundabout that roundabout i said there should be a flyover so you can see that this road is wide enough for dualization it would have had an intersection at that flyover at that uh, roundabout at ochanja so it will serve the major markets that we have in Onicha very, very well. People will not have a hell lot of time going to market and coming back. These are the major key roads that the government is supposed to have dualized and make it easier for people to come and buy goods and go without much disturbances, you know, in terms of traffic. So that is it. The road leads to Ochanja and Ochanja, that uh, Iweka road, connects to main market. So this Iweka road that is, uh, they said is under dualization. Uh, with time now, we'll still go there to see what is going on. We have been there like uh, for a month ago. So um, um, Iweka road is supposed to have been dualized, of which they said is under dualization. Then uh, the one that leads to main market from... Uh, Head Bridge, that's uh, Niger Street, ought to have been dualized. At this Sixth Avenue that connects Ochanja Market with the road that goes to Main Market at both sides ought to have been dualized. But however, it's an improvement anyway. So right now we are moving along Miss LM Street inside Fege on each other. Miss LM's. You now this Miss LM's connects Zix Avenue and Potakot Road. It connects, you can connect the two roads through this Miss Lems. So, but let's keep going and see what is going on there. Thank you. So viewers, uh, we are uh, approaching the tail end of uh, Miss Elam Street, you know, where it joins Portacourt Road, where there is an intersection. So, but we are not going to Portacourt Road, we have done Portacourt Road. We are having a reverse view of uh, Miss Elam Street, so that we can, you know, explore the areas, you know, properly. So this is Mr. Lems, we are having the river zoo. So you can see this place it has a very deep gutters. The gutters have been, uh, you know, uh, excavated. So um, uh, maybe with time they are going to, you know, cast the gutters. But I hope these gutters are flowing, you know, to somewhere. So let it not be that it's just gutter like that. You know, gutters are supposed to be functional. 
drainage systems are supposed to be flowing. Drainage systems are not meant to be stagnant. That is the wrong, uh, you know, uh, construction if the water there is stagnant. So, but let's keep going. So this is uh, Zig Avenue. Like I said, if you move backwards, you are going to Chanja Market. Chanja Market at uh, Chanja Roundabout by Iweka. That is where you are going to bust out. But we are not going towards that area. We are having a river view towards uh, that Niger Street. From there, we are going to divert as if we are going to where the streets that's we are going towards the where the streets but let's move down a bit and uh, have a critical look of uh, all these areas you can see six avenue is very wide enough the roads are very very wide so it ought to have been dualized to serve the connection at iweka road and Niger Street that leads to Mem Market, Iweka Road leads to Mem Market, and the Niger Street leads to Mem Market also. So that is my view, anyway. So, but if you have not subscribed to our channel, click uh, on subscription button, notification bell, like this video, please share this video. It's very important. You don't keep it to yourself. You need to share it so that others can watch and uh, you know they can read our comments and uh, hear what we are talking about our discussion here is how to better our place to make it uh, you know livable that is what we are saying so let's keep going and uh, don't forget to share this video share this video so that others can see and watch thank you
So actually, you can see that there are walkways along this uh, Zigs Avenue. You know, the the government have installed walkways at both sides of the Zigs Avenue. So, well, it's an improvement anyway. But anything worth doing was doing well. So let's uh, we are going to take left. You know you cannot take uh, Niger Street because the road is blocked completely. So for you for us to assess, you know, a, 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 a road that is uh, motorable, we are going to follow here and uh, drive as if we are going towards uh, where a street. Where a street is at the back of uh, Portacot Road. So somewhere there we are going to, you know, terminate our movement. We are going to call it a day. Well, we are glad to bring you this uh, Zix Avenue. And we are glad to showcase to you what is going on there so that you can follow up and, uh, you know, be on the same page with what the government is doing. And uh, we will hear your suggestions about what is going on. All these videos are not just for you to watch. Bring your ideas, you know. Let the people that are concerned, let them see our videos and uh, see if uh, they can uh, make amends. Honestly, most of the things that we have said in our videos and we have proposed, they have come to pass. Whether it's by coincidence or not, I don't know. But what we need is development. And that is it. Well, Professor Charles Soludo is not doing badly. But uh, like I always say, I have my own reservations and my own areas uh, uh, of which I don't agree with him. But as for... It is a good development and a wonderful improvement to our society. And that is it. So, yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end of this video. This is coming towards uh, Portacourt Road. So, but we are not passing through Portacourt Road because we have done that of Portacourt Road. So this is uh, where we are going to end this video until I come your way next time. I say bye for now. Yes, viewers, we are right now at the site of the construction work that leads to main market. On each other that is coming from a head bridge. This is uh, Niger Street, that's the name of this street. And by the right, there is a timber market, you know, by the right and by the left, you, know, you have the timber market. So, but we are going to um, uh, move down to main market straight right inside main market so that we can see these roads and uh, you know the environment how far work has uh, been gone concerning this uh, road so but you can see that uh, there is a, a, a bit different from what we saw last time you know the road capes they have been installed both left and right the road capes and i'm sure that they are done with the drainages so well like i said i know that there are some significant change and uh, from the look of things there is hope there is hope to round up this road before uh, the Christmas period. But however, even if it's not rounded up, the road has to become motorable because of the season that we've already, you know, entering. The markets are becoming very busy now. So, and that is it. And we don't expect them to be moving on this kind of uh, a road. If you if you do that, it means that we are neglecting our source of income, which is uh, very important to the state governments, Anambra state governments. They are not supposed to joke with their area of uh, revenue. So that's why we keep saying that uh, you know such key projects 
need to be given to you know contractors that can be fast and uh, do a very strong work because this area now all these tipper that used to carry sand <laughs> they should know what to do about them because sands will be dropping on this road and you know when sands are drop, dropping on the road wet sands continuously it will help the road to go back if the road is not kept clean of sands and i know how i don't know how that is going to happen because this place they are doing a lot of uh, you know um, uh, sand business dredging dredging is constantly going on here on daily basis so if this road is not that strong enough and if sand is not continuously packed off the road the road is going to go bad in a very very short distance time well ours is to update you and that is what we are doing yours is to watch and give us suggestions about the video thank you let's keep going we are going directly into the main market So this day, you know, it's good that we choose this day to visit here so that we can see what is going on. If you have been here on a very busy market day, you don't, you will not have opportunity to see anything. All these places are full of people. All this road, you won't see, you won't even see where to, you know, to cover. Everywhere will be covered with human beings. So, but I hope that when this road is done and dusted, all those uh, trading on the streets should be, you know, stopped and abolished so that uh, people can move freely uh, along the road. So, thank you. Let's keep going. Yes, uh, we are having a reverse view of uh, the road that we came in through. Uh, that leads to main market. You can see the road curves, both sides are fully installed. You know, just waiting for the real, you know, um, uh, construction to start. So let's keep going and keep watching. Thank you.
So these are the area that we cut off before that time we diverted so we are now moving along the place to see exactly what it looks like and what is going on here so that is it let's keep going So we are right there in front of uh, GUO markets and this is where we diverted to enter inside the other side. So you can see that this place is blocked. All the drainage systems are done and dusted. It remains the actual grading of the road and probably to install the, the walkways. So let's keep going. So we are having a reverse view of this place to have a critical look at uh, the environment, what we have missed earlier, so that uh, we will be on the same page of what is happening.
So actually, you know, down there you are going to follow Zig Avenue. So, but from here we will move back to where we come from to complete our movement from that, uh, you know, timber side. Yes, this is the timber area and we are having a reverse view to complete our movement. So from what you see on ground, you can see that the drainage systems are all completed, the road caps are all done. What is remaining now is stone base and the actual Tiziweka road. We are back. So, but let's go down to that Pachanja roundabout and see what that place looks like and what is blocking that uh, axis. So uh -huh, this is the place that was blocked at Tachanja roundabout. You can see what is happening here. Some excavation work is going on. Some excavation work is going on. So we are going back to continue our movements, but we just want to be sure what is happening there. So um, right now we are at uh, Modebel Junction, Modebel Bayueka. So this is where the dualization will end at this Modebel. So well, we are moving straight to Mem Market. Mem Market is not far from here. You can observe that from here down the road is a bit narrow. So um, it is not wise to go on dualization here except if government wants to destroy so many people's property so this place will be you know a normal carriageway it's not going to be dualized so let's keep going
So now we have approached the area that the vehicle cannot move beyond. So, but we are going to move into there to give you the details view of that place. So you can see the company's name that is handling this one. They say the ZCC. The other one at uh, uh, Niger Street is uh, Tech. So all these companies, they look alike, but with different names. I don't know. But what we are after is to deliver. Deliver something solid and something nice. That's what people need. It doesn't matter who does the job. What matters is to deliver. Like I always say, let these companies that are not known, you know, use this opportunity to showcase themselves. You know, do a nice work and a wonderful work. I believe if our people, they are given that opportunity and well equipped to do this job, they can perform as well as Julius Bega, as well as RCC and the likes. That is the thing. It's all about determination and doing the right thing. There's no big deal about it. So we are still moving and uh, we are looking at the environment to see what it looks like. Well, we have, uh, as usual, open drainage. I don't know if uh, it looks like it's going to have a walkway, but the drainage system, well, maybe they are going to cover it. Let's see how it goes. Open, open drainage systems breed mosquitoes. It smells bad odor and it breeds mosquitoes. So, but, well, let's see what happens. All we can do is to be giving you updates as and when do. And please try to do your own part. It is vital that uh, both of us benefit and we both of us move ahead. That is what we are talking about. So we have taken the pains to be updating you guys and that is our joy that we are updating you. So please try to do your own part. Thank you as you do that. So we are right there at uh, uh, Okwe Street. This is Okwe Street. We are not yet inside main market. This is just some of these streets that, are, that, that looks like the main market. You know, but they have a heavy you know trading activities that are going on around here but the main market is still inside that is it so let's uh, keep moving and uh, you know explore the area thank you don't forget to drop your comment so let's hear from you what you see about this video the assessments and the whole lot of them thank you Let's keep going. We are having a reverse view of where we came from. From there, we will cover some other areas that we did not cover as we are coming.
well uh, you can see the situation of this place and we hope that uh, these people they speed up their work if you ask me i don't know what you observed but there are some little changes but i expect to see more than this being that this road is very strategic there is no need for delay and we know the period we are now so these people need to speed up their work i don't know what is delaying them but however all i know that there is improvement but their their speed is not you know commendable i don't know what is the problem whether it's finance or not but what i'm seeing is what i'm saying until i hear from you what you think about the video that you've watched you can as well check our previous post on um, this particular road one of our posts like uh, three weeks ago you can check to see the difference because we are not going to bring that one to join this video we are leaving this one to stand alone so that you can just watch it and uh, end it here but if you are interested to know what this road looks like the other time you can check about a month ago so i just imagine if it were companies like uh, Bega. i keep talking about Bega because these are the companies that knows what they are doing a space of two weeks you will see wonders space of one week two weeks one month they have gone far but well um uh, let's uh, take what we are seeing well we are keep uh, we keep moving down the Ochanja roundabout to stay have the reverse view of uh, where we are coming from so we keep uh, moving towards uh, Ochanja market side you no know, um uh, as we